We make decisions all the time. Decisions about them. Them is a who. The consumer, our bullseye. There are rules about them. We keep them over there, on paper, behind a glass wall. Conceptual. We do not get close enough to touch or smell or know them. We do not see how swiftly we turn to assumptions, how easily we ignore what makes us uncomfortable. We choose to view them as just another transaction. Sometimes, if we are lucky, something happens that pierces our perception and we are suddenly compelled to listen. For two weeks we listened listen to her aspirations, her dreams, her regrets, listen to her stories of joys and sorrow, to her silent screams. We listened even when she wasn't talking, and here's what we heard. These adventureras share a courageous and relentless spirit. They put on an armor of bravery and choose to leave it all behind, to start a new life for themselves, and even for their families. I came to this country for the sake of my son. He wanted to become a doctor, and I knew I couldn't pay for his education back home. I had always heard that this is the country where young people can get ahead. So I decided to give him that opportunity, even if it meant that I had to start from zero, too. I know we will both make it. I came to this country so my children would have a better life. Because I worked. I worked, and I worked. Now I know that my work was not in vain. I am Flor Santos. When I came to this country, I didn't have a visa. I was very young and naive, and uh, I thought that I would be coming by airplane. I remember my mother called me, and she told me that uh, I would have to take a bus to Tijuana. She had already been living in the U.S. for about three years. Once in Tijuana, I would cross the border by foot, and then someone would meet me and bring me over to her. I was very scared. On the day that I was supposed to cross the border, I was very sick, and uh, I had a temperature of 40 degrees. But I knew that I had to do it because my mother had sent me the money for the bus ticket. so. Uh, I took the scarf with me that she had knitted and a sweater to cover myself. When we crossed the fence, we were caught and we were returned. The next day I was going to go home. But I ran into the man that crossed us and he told me that I had to try again, that I couldn't go home, and that this time I would have to run faster. So I got rid of everything I was carrying, everything except for my scarf. That is why this scarf means so much to me. It reminds me. It reminds me of how hard it was for me to come here. And it's very special because it protected me while I crossed the border. In their new lives, they often find themselves caught between a traditional culture and one that's quickly evolving. They're overcome by creativity, hope, excitement, and discomfort. 
My life in the U.S. is like my new refrigerator, always filled with things, stuff that we don't even need. But it's nice to look at and to know you can have them. Um, Coming to this country definitely makes you tougher and more independent, especially for me. I was so used to rely on my parents and my friends for everything. Help with the kicks, fixing things around the house, you know. But now I have to figure things out on my own and trust my adjustment a lot more. Now he comes home all greasy from working with the cars. Pero tenemos casa, we have a house, and it's our own. And we can afford things right now that we couldn't even think of in Mexico. And the quality of life is better. Pues la ironía, no? Que ironía. Todos esos años de quemándose la pestaña es tu study. Pero no importa. When I see him, I see him much more than a mechanic. I know who he is. Yo veo a mi abogado, my lawyer, my strong husband who can do anything. Un hombre de visión. A man with a vision. In this culture, women are not raised to believe their only purpose in life is to get married and become a housewife. We're taught that we have a choice. We can choose to become a housewife if we want to, the same way we can choose to pursue a career or not get married at all. I married my husband when I was fairly young, and naturally I have changed a lot since. For my husband, it is really hard to understand that I'm not the same person that he married. But I keep telling him that he has to love me for who I am and who I become, because it's the only way we can grow. At work, my Dominican friends are always telling me to be more vocal and more demanding. In Ecuador, we are thought to be polite and not to fight back. But I have learned from them that you should always stand up for what you believe and not to be afraid to ask questions. I am a lot more vocal now than I ever was in Ecuador. Back home people are not used to throwing things out. It's not in the culture, and you cannot really afford to either. But here, you get used to buying new things all the time. Furniture, electronics, decorations, and clothes. They are closed for every season, and you need to keep up with the trends. You know, let me tell you. The owner of the company that I worked for wore the same shoes that I had on. No way. And she asked me if I had gotten them at Bloomingdale's. So she gets her shoes. Please, por favor. When I told her I only paid $20 mm -hmm. for them, she couldn't believe it. She had paid $200 for the oh, shoes. Por favor, I know where to shop. No necesito decirte dos mil quinientas veces multiplicado por siete que te espero noche y día que me disculpen los sabios pero la sabiduría duerme detrás de tu oreja y no en Grecia como la historia creía eh, eh. I had to fight for me and my children since my husband left us. I had to work hard. Sometimes starting 7 a.m. and coming back home at 11 p.m. I have done nothing else but work since I got to this country. I concentrated too much on my duties as a mother and did not spend enough time on myself. I regret that. I had also my profession. I'm a for 10 years, my husband and I lived apart. He was working here in the U.S. and I was working as a dentist in Santo Domingo. I didn't want to give up my career to come live with him, but eventually I had to, because I wanted our daughter to grow up with her father around. I'm happy that we're all finally together, and I think that my daughter deserved it. But I'm working hard to learn English, so I can be a professional in this country too. That is why I am working in this country very hard so that I can work as a dentist. I have been here for two years, and I'm taking the TOEFL next month, and I know that I'm going to pass it. Loco. No puedo.
puedo vivir sin ella Pero con ella tampoco Y si de este mal de amores Yo me fuera a la tumba A mí no me mandéis flores Que como dice esta rumba Animal is a dog. It's a, the French poodle, the mini toy. The country that I would love to visit is Japan. I enjoy going to the movies. My favorite perfume is anything from Calvin Klein. My favorite one is Lean on Me with that Morenito Sabroso Freeman Morgan. So I'd like to be a, an architect or a fashion designer. I love to read in English, although sometimes I don't understand everything. Yes, yes, of course I have an email address. The show I love is Sex and the City. I never miss it. When I get to relax, that's my favorite time of the day. I would be a hummingbird so I could fly and soar and suck the nectar out of the flowers. <laughs> Whether she stays at home to educate a loving family or becomes a professional, whether she chooses to travel, explore, or go in search of her spirituality, the Hispanic woman is making the American dream her own. She knows to travel light, for all it takes is guts, desire, and hard work. And I know that I will make it. Oh, I have to. We are opening a restaurant together because we You either got it or you don't got it, and I got it. I want them to go after their dreams, like the boy and the alchemist did, like I did. But first and foremost, woman I am. I am no whore, and I am no prude. I am not money. Nor object, so don't you dare objectify me. Don't break me, nor typecast me. Instead, take a good look at me. Look with more than your eyes can see. See beyond my layers deep. Take a good look at all that I have done, and still will do. Tell me I inspire you. Not only as a muse, but with thoughts and actions, you tend to look past. Inspire me, because you believe in me. Inspire me, because you know the greater things I achieve stand upon the great things that I have already done. Pay homage and discover me in ways you never conceived. Pamper me. Love me. Surprise me. And enchant me. So I can give you tenfold in return, for I am your backbone. What keeps you standing? And without me, you would never be. Tell me you like me. Show me that you are like me. I want you 